Hey guys, welcome back to Kombucha Panama, Los Buzos Resort. We got Derek Cortez, Adam Fisk. We got no clients. And now what do guys do on their day off? They go fishing. Something else hit the diver. What is that? Oof. Oh, nice here, mackerel. He came off. That was a nice, really nice Sierra mackerel, and uh, she took the bait right next to me. Diver. Boil the load, boil the load. Boil the load. Boil the load, boil the load. It's in the panga, it's in the panga. This is a big one. Derek, 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 can you confirm? Did Adam say he has a marlin on? Does he still have a marlin? Do you have eyes on him? Should I call a boat? Adam, copy, where are you? Corvina 2, Corvina 2. Derek, 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 do you copy? Do you copy? Derek, come back. Robert, come in, Robert, come in. Derek, 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 Adam, 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 do either one of you guys copy? Can you confirm? Do you have a marlin? Should I try to get a boat? Mr. Robert Fields, not listening to his radio. Hey, Derek, you by Robert? Anybody copy me? Pio, 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 me copia. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Oh, sh! <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, my God. I don't know what to do. I don't know if I should launch a boat or not. Thinking, yeah. I gotta get hold of Pio. Pio, 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 me copia. I'm on a race to follow Adam because he has a huge marlin on right now. Here at Los Buzos, Panama. Roger that. Thank you. I keep on telling me where you're at. I'm heading your way. Are you by Robert? All right, he's not answering me. Does he know? I think not. He hasn't answered to me either. I haven't heard him. I'm sending the message right now. Roger that. It's a big one. <laughs> yeah, baby. Adam, Derrett. Adam, Derrett. Do you guys copy? Adam or Derrett? Juni, tienes un radio? No? Puedes llamar a Pio o no? Pio. Si. Adam tiene un Marlin ahora. Ahora, un marlin, afuera. Sí, sí. Adam, Jared, Adam, Jared, do you copy? Oh, man. <laughs> Adam, Jared, Adam, Jared, do either one of you guys copy? Come back. Do you still have the marlin? I can't copy you, man. You're barely, I'm just hearing some static. Here he goes again, here he goes again, here he goes again. Here he goes again, here he goes again. Here he goes again. Woo! <laughs> Jesus. Hey, Robert, copy? Do you have the marlin, yes or no? Roger that, Junie's coming in the boat right now. Roger that. Yeah, get him, bro. Woo. Another one, baby. Oh, shaking. <laughs> yeah, marlin, oh. I can't get a hold of Pio. He's not answering the radio. Pio, 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 me copia. Woo. Little update over here. We have Adam on the moon. I finally have a visual on him. He's straight in front of me. His still being towed out at a decent, decent speed. This is awesome. Woo. Pio, 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 me copia.
that just oh there he goes man oh. All right, so our Captain P.O. is supposed to be back at the lodge listening to the radio all day in case something like this happens. Adam's got a marlin on. He said it's a big one. He's towing him out to sea. Luckily, I know that Captain Juni, he's uh, picking up a diver that he has in the water right now. And either he's going to go get P.O. or he's just going to come help Adam. Last time Adam went to marlin, he landed it after about five hours and it towed him miles and miles out to sea. So uh, he's going to need help. I don't even know what I'm doing, but I'm, I'm heading that way. I'm heading offshore. Try to go link up with Adam. I don't know what I'm gonna do when I get there, but film it, I guess. If you survive the first 10 minutes, uh, you're, you're definitely still in for a lot of fight, but you're in good shape. If they don't spool you immediately, you got a shot. And if anyone can do it, Adam can. It won't be, it's not his first rodeo. All right, guys, 30 minutes in, another black marlin, baby. Big one. Hit a blue runner, same exact spot as the other one I landed. Robert Fields here, he's gonna come up in, uh, in a boat shortly. Locals just saw me, Captain Juni, right behind me, keeping an eye on me for now until Pio gets out with Robert. It's a big one, looks like we're in for a fight. Yeah, Pio's coming to me right now. I'll be there. I'll be with you guys here soon. All right, finally, Pio's out, got the boat, coming for backup. Ah, que hora es? Marlin y media, si? No, ah, si, si, claro, amigo. Ya dice que es más grande de la otra. Yeah, buddy. I just got on the other side of Vodka and he's like, Mar -mar 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 I was like, did he just, did he just say Marlin? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, no, no, no point. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> you know what time it is, bro? Marlin time. Here comes the Panamanian Navy. All right, finally got caught up here with Adam. He is hooked up to a Marlin, a black Marlin right now, ladies and gents. Pulling me right to the deep end, baby. Off the ledge. We're in over a thousand feet right now. We got P.O. here, just came and saved the day. He was out there painting one of the new boats. Rushed out here to pick us up. We're just gonna sit here and make sure he doesn't need anything and then give him a ride home after this thing tows him out to sea. Yeah! <laughs> oh, he's dancing, he's dancing. Bro, I've never seen somebody fight a marlin like that. So tranquilo. Mira que tranquilo con a marlin. Wow, he's even worse at dancing on the ocean. <laughs> All right guys, so Adam has a marlin on, but he is not stupid. This is not his first rodeo. He knows he cannot horse this fish up. So he's really just kind of conserving his energy. He's got the rod on his knee. He's leaning back in his chair, rod tipped to the front of the boat, just letting that fish pull down on him, pull against that drag, tow his kayak out to sea, and trying to slowly wear this fish out before he even tries to start gaining some line on him. He said it jumped right next to the boat, 20 feet away from the boat in the beginning. He thinks he got it on video. He said it's big. And the last one he caught was 450 pounds. So uh, this one might be at least that big, maybe bigger. They, they get, they're growing big out here. But uh, right now he's just getting like a few inches of line at a time. The fish is no longer jumping. It's, it's now digging straight down. And we're going to be here for a while. So he's not trying to force it, not trying to rush it. He's honestly just kind of chilling. He's got to be like the most calm, tranquilo guy that's ever been fighting a marlin in the history of fishing. But in a kayak. In a kayak. In a kayak. Yeah. I'd, be, those puzzles, I'd be crying and already would have pooped my pants by now. He's just chilling. He's listening to music. In fact, I saw him actually sending out a text message. I think he's telling his wife he's hooked up to a marlin. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Another casual day. What are the guys at Los Buzos do on their day off? We just come out here and catch marlin from kayaks. No big deal. We're going to be here for a while, guys, but this might get exciting here in a bit. Man, we got time. We'll go get you some wings from Sophie's. You want a beer? You want a Los Buzos special? What, what, you, what you in the mood for, huh? You want that Gatorade? Keep, stay hydrated? Just casually trying to paint the ocean a little cleaner while we wait for Adam to land this marlin. We got time. See, see, it's not key. It's not key. Uh, yeah. Got it, got it, got it. Good karma. We're going to land this fish. I can feel it. All right, about an hour into the fight. Adam's just kind of holding steady. Low and slow. Like cooking a brisket. About an hour in. He's digging pretty deep. He stayed up on top jumping for the first few minutes. And then he's dove down. And for the past 45 minutes, he hasn't come back up. But he's just taking me directly offshore, just like the last one. Same combo, same everything. Accurate reel, adrenaline rods. My marlin combo, baby. Oh, again, made a perfect rig. Marlin rig, extra long, 100 pound fluorocarbon. 
13 -0 circle hook, same one we use for rooster fish and cuberas and all those other fish we catch. Rigged up right. I think we're gonna get him. So Adam is definitely the most qualified guy to be fighting this fish. He's already landed a 450 pound marlin from a kayak. He knows what to do. Most people would be exhausted right now an hour in, but Adam knew from the beginning, low and slow, slow and steady wins this race. You cannot horse a marlin not this big up to a kayak. It's just not possible. So Adam's been saving his energy, just putting constant steady pressure, and the fish will come up eventually, but we're probably in it for five hours, is our guess. So in the meantime, picking up some trash. It's been here a while. So you ready to break your own record here with the biggest marlin ever caught from a kayak? I think it just might be. Adam is hooked up to a monster fish. It is totem at least a mile and a half out to sea. Cuidado. Might be coming up. Now it's digging. Yeah, your line is going forward. Yeah. Oh, it's coming up. Oh, El otro lado, si puedes, pero lento, lento, suave. Fish looked like it was coming up. Now it looked like maybe it changed its mind. We thought we were about to get a look at it. So Adam has been drugged. We're probably about three miles from Baca. The fish has kind of picked up the pace here in a little while. He's towing Adam a lot faster than he was. He was kind of digging down, and we think he maybe found a current, and now he's just, he's kind of hauling. He's been towing Adam, like I said, he three or four knots. It's about an hour and a half. He might be a third of the way there. He said it was a big one. He said it was a big one. no traes mujeres o cervezas o nada. ¿Qué pasa, amigo? We're out here now. Wind's picked up a little bit, but it's not too bad. Yeah, Morris, we copy, we copy, you copy us. Good, y'all must be getting out of range. Yeah, can you hear me? Can you, do you copy, do you copy? Yeah, that came through good. Is it still pulling offshore? Yeah, it's pulling him offshore, just slow and steady, staying down. Uh, he's gotten back quite a bit of line, but he didn't have much when he started, really started, so uh, he's still got quite a bit of line out. Okay, if we lose radio contact, y'all need to send us instructions on the inreach, um, because we got to wait till the end of the day, but then I'll start gathering up a boat. I know about your camera, and so whatever we send out for the night, we'll have, have your stuff on it if we have to go that route. Estamos a oeste o oeste? Straight on. We're pretty much straight out, man, just a little bit east. We're probably four four and a half miles offshore, five miles offshore, but we'll let you know. Are you are getting my in-reach messages right, obviously, because you got the camera? Yeah, I know we are. We're tracking you. Just um, if I lose radio contact, we're going to have to, you're going to have to message me by the in-reach if you need anything other than the camera and a driver before dark. But I'll keep checking on the radio as long as I can hear you. Welcome back to Los Buzos, baby. Adam sent up to a marlin, a giant, almost two hours in the fight. Four or five miles from land, he's been towed. Woo! Steady towing him out to sea. Young man in the sea. Young man in the sea. <laughs> <laughs> Marlin Rodeo down here in southern Panama. Crazy, crazy, crazy. We have not seen this fish yet. It's been diving and just towing him out to sea. We're far, y'all. And the swell is picking up a little bit out here. All right, Adam says the fish is as close as it has been the entire fight. This thing is coming up higher in the water column. You got him, bro, you got him. So Adam has this fish close to the boat, probably three hours in. Just changed directions on him, now he's kind of circling a little bit. Whew, that got hairy there for a second. He's pulling Adam sideways, look at this. He's pedaling up hard to go touch that leader. Yeah, he's got the swivel at the rod tip right now. So he's about to leader this fish, but we won't be done then. What a beast. Yeah, there it is. Leader touch. That is an officially caught fish. Woo! Robert, Robert, coming up, coming up. I know. Oh, oh, shit. oh my God. Oh. You see that, baby? Yeah. Yeah. Wow, dude. That is a fish, bro. Yeah. Oh. oh my God. Here he goes again. Oh, it's running like crazy, 
That thing is so big and it jumped right next to him, dude. That was like 15 oh jumps. Oh my God. Oh no, he's, he's real. Oh no. He's got it, he's got it. Oh my gosh, that scared me. That is a monster fish. Oh my God, bro. <laughs> yes, dude. What, how, that, how, how, how big is that fish? <laughs> oh my god, bro. That is the most insane thing I've ever seen come out of the water. That is crazy. It looks so like ridiculous next to that little boat, bro. It's so much bigger than Adam and that kayak together. That was insane. <laughs> Ay, Dios mío. Que rico van a ser. Hell yeah, we got that on tape. That was insane. That's the craziest thing I've ever seen come out of the water with a lion hanging out of his mouth. <laughs> it's a big bitch, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen a marlin in real life, bro. That That is a doozy. You're going on three and a half hours. Time flies. <laughs> Wind's picking up a little bit, but not too bad. It's a little sporty. Adam, uh, Morris just sent me an in-reach. He said we're 10 miles out right now. Damn. We out here. Yeah, we out here. We out here, all right. 10 miles offshore right now. Adam hooked it less than two. This fish has towed him over eight miles. It's been about three hours and 45 minutes going on four hours. Insane. I'm tired. We're just watching. <laughs> At this point, Adam has touched the leader, which is the 15 feet of line closest to the fish. And that is an official catch on a marlin, kayak or otherwise. Now he's finding it purely in hopes of getting his hands on her for a photo. Morris, 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 you copy? All good. All good. No, we need gas. We need gas. Okay, so they called Marlin on about 10 o'clock this morning. It's 3.30. That you ask why some of us don't fish, this is why. We're sending out a search boat now. Looks like he's been fighting all day. Looks like he's gonna be fighting all night. Here's AJ and the Kawasaki Mule. Hello. We got four tanks of gas. We got bottled water and ice. We got a pack of food. And we got all of Robert's electronics, new cameras, night lights, and fresh radios. We're fixing to roll out with a second panga and go dump off all the supplies to the first one and let one guy come in and have a second watch crew there. Hopefully not for the whole night. All right, we're launching the rescue boat. So we've got Adriano and AJ launching the resupply boat. The chase boat with the Marlin is about 11 to 12 miles straight offshore there. They're gonna take them new supplies, bring back anybody on the boat that needs to come back for the night, and the rest of them are gonna settle in to chase the boat until Adam catches the marlin. We'll do this again at daylight if need be. See? Oh, wow. Hey, I wanna try to get him right close to the kayak. Maybe we can get a fast shot of his stupid friend. And then I'm probably gonna pop it up because it looks pretty tired. Did you hear it? Unless we can hand it to the boat and then we can uh, ride it in the boat and then make sure we can rewind it. All right, Adam's gonna kind of crank down on this fish. It looks really tired. We don't want to kill it, so he's uh, gonna crank down, try to get it up, and then either hand it off to us or, or just put enough pressure that it's basically gonna break off or pull the hook. Might be easier said than done. Cuidado. Man, look at this. <laughs> These are some big waves, bro. This is extreme in the boat. Oh, dude. Hey, cuidado. Adelante. Oh, right there, right there, right there. Oh, my God, dude. Look at Adam. Oh, you're a beast, bro. <laughs> that is insane. Oh, here he goes again. Oh my god! Oh my god! I don't even 
even know what to say, dude. That's crazy. Oh my god, we almost got him. This is the stuff legends are made of. The legend of Adam Fisk. I'll be telling my grandkids. Adam is finding this fish in some pretty gnarly conditions. The cameras never do it justice, but it's it's sporty out here. Look at that. Look at that. Careful, and it's running at the same time. Wow. Wow, bro. Yeah. Damn, it's digging. <laughs> Wow, man. This is some extreme fishing right here, boys. He's kind of losing his fish bag now off the front of the kayak. He's kind of falling off the bow. He's being hit by a few pretty big waves. Adam's trying to get that fish bag. Nice, nice, Woo! nice. Oh, cowboy! Professio, no! Look at that. It's <laughs> another day in the office here for Adam Fisk. <laughs> Actually, this was his one day off to fight a fish for five hours. <laughs> no way. All right, Adam feels like this fish, he doesn't want to kill this fish. This fish is struggling, he's diving, he won't stop. So uh, we're gonna try to get this guy faster by fighting him in the boat. Oh yeah, we are, um, we are. Um, yeah, he's still pulling drag. Locos almost, huh? huh? Down to the braid. Should I tie the drag at all, you think? Uh, I had it on full, I got it down to What's wrong? Almost. Uh, ready? Yep. This is nuts, man. Nessie yeah, Tom was here, man. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. He's going, man. He ain't done. Oh, man. Look at that. Yeah, I think he's, I think he's not done, but I didn't want to. I thought I'd run for like four hours and he died. Oh, really? Do you want this? Uh, I, I can't. No, I don't care. It's your fish, so. It's so heavy. No, no, no. Yo, 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 what's happening? Stop! Woo! Please stop. <laughs> oh my god, look. That all goes back out. Everything I just did, Take it out. just got undid. That's a big fish, bro. <laughs> yes, it is. It's a real. Lockdown drag on the Accu. Dude, first time playing a marine boat? Yeah. Nice. And this is what, four and a half hours in? Four hours in? <laughs> it feels like I'm hung up. <laughs> the fish ladies and gents cannot believe this thing's been on the line for five hours still pulling like this the reel's locked down like I can't put any more force on it. I'm trying to thumb it at this point we're kind of like let's just get her up or pop her off so I got a hundred feet of mono that I just lost for the ninth time just since I've had the reel please stop <laughs> please stop that reel's getting a workout Very dangerous. You gotta know what you're doing with this if you grab the line wrong. This is called wiring a marlin, and it's the easiest way for mates to get seriously injured or even killed. Adam has to wrap the line around his hands for leverage, but if the fish takes off and he's unable to drop it immediately, she will easily drag him down to the depths. Good drift after dark, baby. I cannot believe this. Look at him, look at him. Look at that! Whoa! Whoa! It's still gonna go, right? You won't be aware. Did you see that, dude? Sure. Yeah. I'm gonna try to get a little closer. Watch out, watch out for the knife. This is not man versus beast. This is beast versus man. Woo! Oh my god, dude. Good job, guys. Yeah. We leaded it a few times. Woo! Hey, right here, camera boy. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Right. Gotta nice. get some love. Woo! Oh my god, I love the moves. That was sick. <laughs> not a whole lot of monsters like that anywhere else. Out here, rough conditions in a kayak. Oh my god, dude. 
insane. That was insane. Leader, that was insane. The leader from the kayak, leader from the banga. Just could not get that thing up. That was just, I mean, we got it up, but just would not stay up. Wow. Dude. Sick. <laughs> now we gotta go find that other boat. <laughs> and we're lost. <laughs> <laughs> and we're drifting. Oh. Let's see. All the way from home, ladies and gents. <laughs> Before beast and the sea. Oh, that's right. God, my forearms. Jeez. My back, dude. I mean, I fought it for a third of the time you did, but less. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. Crazy. So we got a problem. This thing towed us so far. We don't have enough gas to get back. And so Morris, the lodge owner, he sent one of Adriano's pongas to come refuel us, give us some water. We're out of water. But he can't find us. Now we got this Garmin in reach. We're pinging our location, but Adriano didn't really know how to use his. And I mean, it's a big ocean or a small boat. It's a pretty decent swell and chop. And now we're kind of losing the light. Adriano, Adriano, me copia. Never a dull moment. The hard part's over. It kind of feels like the hard part just began. We'll be sleeping on the boat. <laughs> Dreaming of Marlin. Put more bait out. You brought your passport? <laughs> <laughs> Hope you brought your passport. <laughs> <laughs> He's having trouble finding us. Our friend and the owner of this boat, Adriano, he's out here looking for us somewhere. We're able to talk to the lodge because Morris has got a bigger radio. We finally got back into radio contact with him, but we can't find Adriano and he's got the fuel. Adriano, Adriano, and the water Adriano. and the lights. The sun's going down. Still no sign or radio contact from Adriano. We have no lights. Adriano has the lights, but ironically, he has to find us to give us lights and we don't have any lights. If we got stuck out here, we would not land in Panama. We would land somewhere else. Strong <laughs> currents out here. Yeah, if we land. We it's a long way to Antarctica if we head due south. I didn't eat my Oreos, so we still got them. Oh, uh, we still got All Adam's right. Oreos. We just got back on the radio with Adriano. We just heard him for the first time today. We're getting closer to him, but we still don't know where he's at. He didn't know where we're at. We're running out of light quick. He sees us. Hey Morris, he's, he found us, he found us, we're together, we're together. <laughs> What's up fellas? What's up amigo? Hey! Ah. <laughs> The Rooster is bar and grill. As we motor back to the lodge and the light begins to fade, we reminisce on the day's events. We talk of all the jaw-dropping moments, of how sketchy the conditions turned, and of the sheer power and endurance that animal brought to the table. We also discuss everything that could have gone wrong, of the holes in our Marlin protocol, of needing to shore up our preparation and processes so that we can stay safe while targeting the giants of the Pacific from little plastic boats. In the end, we found victory. And while Adam certainly deserves the lion's share of the credit, he readily acknowledges that it takes a village to make history. 
Adam's previous marlin last year was the unofficial record for the biggest marlin ever caught from a kayak. And while we'll never know with absolute certainty, we're relatively sure that he beat his own record today. As we battle the wind and waves back to Los Buzos, I'm filled with pride for both my friend and our team. We cut it way closer than we meant to, but we'll go home with a story that we'll be telling for the rest of our lives. If you want to come fish with us at Los Buzos, visit LosBuzos.com or send an email to info at LosBuzos.com. While I can't promise that you'll hook a marlin, I can promise that you'll go home with a shorter bucket list and your own crazy stories to tell. <laughs>